And Governor Pritzker is officially running for re-election, but he won't appear on a ballot again until next June. That's because the state pushed next year's primary race back from March until then. That's just one change Illinois made to election laws since the pandemic, also expanding access to early voting. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell spoke to Governor Pritzker about some of those changes to election laws, something that could come up on the campaign trail. The coronavirus made parts of life more convenient. You could shop online, work from home, or vote by mail. But as more people withdrew from public spaces, many people also lost faith in public institutions. So we asked Governor Pritzker about those changes to election law in particular to see if he thought there was room to improve public confidence in our elections. We've expanded access to the ballot box, unlike places like Georgia and Utah and Arizona and other places where but they're could, trying to cut could you back do both? on it. Could you expand and grow confidence in the election process? Well, I think it, it does grow confidence in the election process when people know that they can access the ballot box. They're not being kept away from it. Congressman Rodney Davis is the ranking Republican on the House Committee overseeing U.S. elections. I don't see what the big deal is by requiring an ID to go vote. People do provide ID when they're signing up to vote, when they're registering to vote. And, you know, it's reasonable to, that people, when they show up, they, you know, sign to get their ballot. So those their signatures are matched. I, I think we've got a great process, but we've got to make it even more accessible. A recent Monmouth poll found 80% of Americans support requiring photo ID to vote. If you want to give people faith in elections, Let's make sure we require people to, to be who they are when they walk into the, the polling place to vote. It's not something that's overwhelming and overburdensome to ask for. Is there anything wrong with, with requiring a photo ID at the ballot box? What we have done is make it easier for people to vote. Well, and there's some people there are some people who aren't walking around if you're homeless, for example. You're not necessarily walking around with an ID with you, right? An official government ID. So that's just one example of somebody that ought to be able to vote, that could be registered to vote, that simply would sign as they do when they come in to get their ballot and prove who they are. Let's work to make sure we get them an ID. Uh, let's make sure we work with our states to get them an ID at zero cost. We can do that. Republican donors are courting and recruiting Congressman Rodney Davis to jump into this race for governor and challenge Governor Pritzker in 2022. Davis hasn't decided yet, sitting back and waiting to see how Democrats draw those congressional maps before he makes that decision. If he does jump in, watch for those questions about election access to become a potential campaign issue. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell. You can watch that entire one-on-one -on -one interview with Governor Pritzker this Sunday on Capital Connection.